Uh, my name is uh, Pierre majeric Leger. I'm from HEC Montreal and uh, hope this is going to be a fun, uh, fun and exciting session. Uh, we are uh, today um, uh, at the uh, SAP annual uh, curriculum conference and um, it's been now four years that we work on this project and we're very happy to uh, bring, up, uh, bring you up to date on the ERP simulation game and for those that already use the, the uh, ERP simulation game this presentation this morning will show you our latest uh, features. Uh, we will be filming the, the presentation because we are, uh, uh, we are in the movie business uh, nowadays and uh, we'll put the presentation on YouTube afterwards so that uh, those that could not come to, uh, today would be able to also to attend. Uh, we are trying at the moment to put the most possible information out there because as you understand this whole thing has, has grown and we have like grown up problems uh, at the moment and uh, I think the most information the, and the most visual information that is on our website and out there is helping you to get started with the game. So um, uh, before I'm, I'm, I'm getting started, I'll, I'll introduce some of my colleagues working on this project uh, with me. So uh, first of all, uh, Gilbert Babin uh, from HEC Montreal is a uh, computer science uh, faculty. Uh, Brett Wagner from Western Michigan University uh, is in supply chain management. Uh, and uh, two other of our colleagues that are not here in this room, uh, uh, Robert Pellerin from Ecole Polytechnique of Montreal is also from engineer, uh, industrial engineering. And Jacques Robert, which is the economist of the team. So we have a multidisciplinary team tacking this, this problem of making game and interesting games with, with SAP. Uh, so we've been working on, on this for four years now. I've been making a couple of presentations in, in the past curriculum conference about this. We've made seminars. There's going to be other training seminar. This, uh, this morning, it's a, it's a one and a half hour where we, we will try in the first part of it to like give you an up-to-date for those of you who are new to the game, about what it is uh, and what type of information can you get on the web about, about the game. Then we'll have like a part of it on the new stuff and, what you're, and, and then what you came in this morning for are our new analytics stuff. And I, I think you'll be excited. We we've came with the, uh, uh, an interesting solution to bring back virtual time into SAP so that you don't have the real date and time, but this virtual date and time in the future of the simulation game. Because we've we got to remember, we're playing this two years game in, in one day. So time has to move forward. And we've come with interesting solution to, being, to be able to do good analytics in this context. And then we'll conclude with some other element in our, let's say, ecosystem. I'd like to talk to you a bit about some uh, research, uh, some the international uh, ERP simulation game that we want to organize again. And uh, we'll present you some, uh, some people who are evolving in, let's say, in our ecology who have developed on top of what we're doing. So Biru Lee will present at the very end what she's done in terms of, uh, uh, of um, uh, BI and, uh, uh, and cockpits. And also Brett Wagner will present it also uh, just before Biru about all the virtual time concepts, uh, uh, reports that uh, he helped to develop. I think we have a problem here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let, let's continue. Um, okay, I think we're good. So this is the uh, the uh, the agenda for today. So I'll about half an hour about the introduction, then half an hour about the uh, let's say 15 minutes about what we can get on the web. Uh, the enhanced game analytics that we are providing in the in the new version and it, our let's say our ecosystem. This is our team. Okay, so um, uh, the first thing is that uh, we're proud to announce that we've been able to upgrade the, our simulation game to 6.0. So by September uh, 08, the new version will be both uh, compatible with 6.0 and 5.0. So those of you and the UCCs are upgrading also. So everything will be uh, ready to run on, on 6.0. There's there aren't that many differences in terms of GUI uh, on the two versions. So uh, most of the material, the book and the, the video material that we have on our website, are retro compatible. So you can start using right away most of the material we've done uh, because from, a, from the student perspective, it's really, it's really the same. So before I start explaining you, for, the, for those who are new to the game, what this whole thing is all about, I think that this analogy uh, will help you to understand uh, what we're really doing. So uh, everybody knows what a flight simulator is all about. And on the right hand side, this is the latest version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So they are simulating a plane and simulating the, the sky around the plane, right? 
so that you can learn how to, to, uh, to, uh, to run a, a plane. Here what we do, and I've used the same image just to make you understand what we do. We, we simulate the business environment, but it's the real SAP, right? So participants to the game are playing with the exact same tool that uh, executive and large organizations are using, and they're using it for real. And then it's the business environment that we, that we simulate. So they're still flying this jumbo jet of SAP, and, but in this virtual environment where they have to make decisions, and the, 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 the consequence of their decision, they have to retroact, change their strategy, correct some errors, and, and feed back into, uh, into what they need. So from a technical standpoint, I, I just want to stress, uh, the, the, from a technological standpoint, the complexity of this game. Because it's not about simulating SAP and having like fake screenshot. They are really using SAP, and in the background, we have developed this tool, ERP Sim, that is actually connecting to SAP and uh, simulating Sims, you know, robots that are actually cl uh, doing clerical tasks in the business process. So that bottom line, what this simulation game is all about, is about making decisions and then being able to uh, make uh, and correct errors that you would do in this process and also to adjust to unexpected event during the simulation game. But it's all about learning how to make business decision in an integrated context, which no other curriculum really covers. It co it's covering like pointing, clicking in SAP. Here we emphasize a lot on how difficult it is to make a good forecast. Well, let's put you in a real and business environment, a real software, and use the data to be able to do this forecast. Okay, we won't be telling you what to forecast for the next quarter of the game, but use the data. You've, you're sitting on a gold mine of data in, in SAP. Extract the data, try to understand your market, and make this very complex decision of, of forecasting. So our game uh, and the pedagogical objective of the game is, is to show our ERP system support business strategy and to develop an end understanding of the underlying concept of enterprise system to have them understand tangible benefit of, the, uh, of an enterprise system and also uh, developing technical skills. In this game, in the first few hours of the game when the students are, uh, are, uh, learn how to use SAP, we get technical questions from the students. So we get how to click here and blah, blah, blah. But when, as we grow into the game, the questions from the students are not technical anymore. They are business-oriented questions. How can I use the ERP system to achieve my goals? And this is what we want to talk about. We don't want to talk about point and clicking in SAP. We want to talk about the uh, 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 problems that they can have on the scheduling, sh uh, on the shop floor, uh, how to schedule production orders. And what, from the theory that we teach them, how can they apply theory in the system to make wise business decisions? Okay, and then the competition grows in, and the student, they learn how to actually use the system. We actually tell them very little about the ERP system, but we tell them, look, the data is there, all the functionality is there, you, you, you are grown-ups, and you were born after the Nintendos, you can find information, we don't need to tell you everything about where the information is sitting, right? So this is the main philosophy here, is that competition builds in, uh, uh, in, in the student game and they kind of learn by themselves uh, uh, because they are wise kids. They, they, they were, some of them that are coming to, to college, they were born after the internet, right? So 